Do you want more control over your GarageBand drummer track? In this video, I'm going to show you how to take full control. Welcome to the band guide. I'm your band guy, Colin, and today we're going to convert your drummer track to a MIDI track so you can turn it into the exact right part for your song. Let's make it happen. So the first thing we want to do once we're in GarageBand is make a drummer track here. I'm going to click create. Now I'm not going to go super in depth into how drummer works, but really quickly, we have all these different styles, all these different actual drummers that they had come in and play parts. Um, so these are played really, and then they were tracked into a digital system so they could know exactly, you know, how are you hitting the hi-hats, different things like that to sound a lot more real. And then down here you have which drum kit are they playing on. So it will always default to Kyle on this SoCal kit. It's a fine kit. Uh, I'll show you one I like a little bit better in a minute. So I'm going to go ahead and shorten this down to a two bar loop. Before you do make this into a mini track, try to get this drummer track close to what you want it to be. Play with the loudness, play with the complexity. You can move this around, it will change up the part. You can see that part changes as we do this. Uh, it's nice, it's simple, it's easy. You can make it louder, you can make it whatever you want. You can get it close here. So we're going to go ahead and make these go away. First thing we got to do is make a new track. So new track, software instrument, create. It's always going to default to this classic electric piano. We're going to go up here to drum kit. Now, as I said earlier, it's going to default to this SoCal kit on the drummer track. But if you want to make your drum sound better instantly, this Brooklyn kit sounds a hundred times better in my opinion. So we now have a Brooklyn kit here. I'm going to go ahead and hide that. And I'll go ahead and hide this too. So all we have to do to add this down here, if you tried to option and drag it, it's going to tell you you can't. It's not a drummer region, you can't do that. What we're going to do is select it, copy, be sure to go back with the playhead to the start of the region of this part, select the track that you want to paste it to, Command V to paste, or you can go up here uh, and just do paste right there. But I like Command V, it's easy. So, so now we have the original part here. Okay, so we got the original part. Now down here we have this on the new track in a MIDI file. Go ahead and tell me how much better does that Brooklyn kit sound, am I right? Okay, so here's the way MIDI works. So I'm gonna drag this up so we can see it a little bit bigger. So on here we have a piano roll. This piano roll, every different note here is a different part of the drum kit. So we got a kick drum, we got a side stick on the snare, we got a snare, we got a rim shot on the snare, which is just a little bit louder, floor tom, hi-hat, another tom, hi-hat, another tom, hi-hat. So notice that there's a lot of different hi-hats on here, and that's the exact reason that I like to use the drummer track. So this hi-hat part isn't just going t -t 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 -t. Like if I were to go in and program a MIDI hi-hat part, it would just be t -t 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 -t. It would be, even if you're changing the velocity, it's always gonna be the exact same sample. But you can see here, they're actually alternating between three different hi-hats for this hi-hat part. But all it's doing is t -t 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 -t. So listen to this. So that sounds way more natural than if you were just to map out eighth notes on the hi-hat. It's got this nice t -t 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 -t, very organic, natural sounding. Uh, so even if you want to change the exact part, I recommend starting with the drummer track because then you can use it as the bass, use the parts that are harder to program well, and then you can change out the rhythms. Just changing out the kick and snare is easy to do and still sounds very natural, but changing out those cymbals is really difficult. You can change out fills and all those things pretty easily still, and you have control over velocity, you know, so you can see these are at different velocities here, but that's not all that's happening. Okay, so we're gonna take this, I'm gonna change this part a little bit. So right now the part sounds like this. So we're gonna zoom out just a little bit here. So I'm gonna take it, so it's do, cat, do, do, cat. I'm gonna take it and make it do, cat, do, 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 cat. Okay, cool. Oh, now see here, it will copy the velocity of whatever you last selected. So I selected this hi-hat here that's kind of quiet. So that hit that I just programmed in is pretty quiet. 
So you like barely hear it. So I'm gonna turn this velocity up a little bit. It doesn't need to be quite as loud because typically when you kind of double on a kick drum pedal, you don't hit exactly the same velocity each time. So, so now we have, see, much better, much more natural sounding. Uh, and then I'm gonna change it. I'm gonna make it do cat, do, do, do cat, do cat. Ooh, didn't mean to do that, but that's cool on that offbeat there. We're gonna put that, that was on a little 16th note. We're gonna do that right on the eighth. Ooh, I'm gonna change this to I'm gonna change that to to Ducato. Ooh, that's cool. Cool, so you took your drummer track, you made a new software instrument track, you copied and pasted this on, and then you edited it to be exactly the right part. So now you can make it, if you have an arrangement where you just wanna hit it in a slightly different place, you can do that in here easily. You can make it whatever you want. If you wanna change that fill, you can do that. You have total control over that track. And you have a Brooklyn kit that sounds way better than that SoCal kit. If this was helpful to you, I have a free guide. If you wanna take your drums from dull and lifeless and digital sounding to huge and real, I have a free guide that you can download in the description below this video. Totally free, just walks you through the exact steps, all the different processing, gives you full control. So you have so much control over the drum sound in here more than just your one drummer track. It's amazing what you can do with just a little bit of creativity and a little bit of mixing and programming. Easy stuff. So download it, link below. And if you like this video, you got value from this video, please subscribe and leave me a comment. Let me know what's one problem you're having in GarageBand right now. I'll help you out either in a comment or maybe I'll make a video for you in the future. So download that guy, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you soon.